Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Latia B. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out some new hair care products from My Rev Air. Today, I am testing out their Boost Fullness line. In that collection is the Revitalizing Shampoo, the Rejuvenating Conditioner, and the Nourishing Scalp and Hair Conditioning Leave-In Treatment. All three of these products are formulated with biotin, vitamin E, turmeric extract, and amino acids, and they're supposed to help support strong, visibly healthy hair. So we're gonna give these three a try and see how it works. I've already tried the Extreme Hydration line from Red Rare, and I absolutely love it, especially when my hair is feeling a bit dehydrated. So we're gonna see if these live up to the hype. I started off by fully saturating my hair with water before going in with the shampoo. I love how all of the wash day products from Rev Air smell good but aren't overwhelming. This shampoo was also the perfect consistency. Not too thick and not too thin and it lathered up nicely even on the first wash. I love that I was able to easily finger detangle my hair and that my hair didn't feel stripped of its natural oils after rinsing the shampoo out. As usual, I followed up with a second wash just to make sure I got rid of all the product buildup for my scalp and strands and the lather was even better on the second wash. After completely rinsing out the shampoo, I went in with the conditioner. While this conditioner has a decent amount of slip, I wish there was a little bit more. I also wish it was a little bit thicker because I feel like I had to use quite a bit to fully coat my strands. What I loved about it though is that it smells good and made my hair feel extremely soft even after just leaving it in for 5 minutes. The last step was using the leave-in and I kind of wish this was in a pump. I'm just not a fan of products that are this consistency in a spray bottle because I feel like it doesn't coat my hair evenly. Spraying it in my hands and then applying made the application much better for me. I then wrapped my hair in a towel to get rid of the excess water. Now that I have washed my face, washed my hair, washed my body, I'm going to go ahead and stretch my hair using my Rev Air hair dryer. I already have a YouTube short up showing how I use the Rev Air. So let's see how my hair is feeling now that it has been in this towel for a little bit. So it still feels really soft and it smells really good too. I will say that with the Extreme Hydration line, my hair is left feeling super silky even after rinsing out the conditioner. This one doesn't leave my hair feeling as silky, but it definitely has my hair feeling soft and also moisturized. I can't really speak to the increase in density or like the fullness of my hair because I've only used it once and I'm not the type to give y'all like a false review. But what I can speak on right now is that it does have my hair looking and feeling and smelling really good. So now I'm going to go in with my Rev Air hair dryer. If you're still interested in checking it out, you can use my discount code and also use the link that is in the caption so you can save some money on your purchase and also support me. I will earn a commission if you use that link. So I appreciate your support should you decide to shop using my link. Before I start the stretching process, I am going to separate my hair into sections. Now, I love using the Rev Air because I can do like six to eight sections of hair and be done with it. Like I can part my hair into four, part those four into two sections and my hair will dry very quickly, very easily. I will say the smaller you do your sections, the more stretched your hair will become. But I feel like that holds true no matter what air dryer you're using. I really don't need my hair to be super straight because I'm not straightening it or anything like that. But because this section is actually quite big, I think I am gonna separate it into three parts rather than just two this time. For my hair, I have like 3C, 4A curl pattern with medium density. Um, and as you can see, it is pretty long, but I still like to use the seven setting for the stretch. And depending on how stretched I want my hair will determine what setting I use for the actual heat up here. So you have zero heat, which is like a very cool setting, a one and a two setting for the heat. So I think I'm gonna go in with a one today. And although I did use the leave-in conditioner when I was in the shower, I'm still gonna use a heat protectant because no matter what type of heat tool I'm using, it being my Rev Air, flat iron, whatever, I always use a heat protectant. And then I just make sure to detangle my hair very well before going in with my Rev Air.
it probably took me about like 15 20 minutes tops to do my hair that's including the detangling and the drying itself so yeah y'all i'm telling you this definitely is a game changer because usually it takes me like 30 minutes or more to blow dry my hair using a standard blow dryer but anyway my hair is now nice and stretched and ready for styling so thank y'all so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one and do not forget to stay dazzling